Hey, it's Tim here. In today's video, the Tableau data extract is being deprecated in March, 2023. This has been the default file type for Tableau extracts for so, so long. And back in version 10.5, Tableau basically announced something called the hyper data extract. Now, the thing about this feature changes, a lot of people are going to think that, you know, something radical is changing. And that's because we've actually been quite lazy with using terminology in the Tableau world. So for a long time, um, when you create an extract, the file type that has come out of that has been called a .tde file. And uh, when Tableau acquired a company called Hyper, essentially they changed that file format to a .hyper. I've actually got a playlist here on YouTube that shows you all the different file types. And I go through all of this in a lot more detail. Check this out. But in in essence, um, people have sort of loosely used the term Tableau Data Extract because that's exactly what it stood for. It was an extract. And so even I've sort of fallen into this trap. I'll often say, take a Tableau Data Extract and people will assume that I'm talking about a TDE when I in fact actually mean a hyperfile. And so what Tableau is basically announcing now, and it's good they're doing it now because you're essentially getting almost a year and a month sort of lead time before this change actually sort of comes into place. What they're essentially announcing is that the hyper file is going to be the only extract type that Tableau will be making. I think this is actually a good thing because we've had quite a long period of having both around and people have always asked, well, what's the difference between the two? Why would I create a TDE over a hyper file? And in essence, it's it's sort of like a defunct question because for most people, um, the hyper has been basically the only option that you can actually create. The only people who are probably still creating uh, Tableau data extracts, as it were, are people using an older version of Tableau. And so what this community post does really nicely, it's from uh, Philip Shing, who I believe is a product manager um, of uh, the hyper team here, who's basically just sort of breaking this down so people know what's going on. Um, for all customers, uh, starting in March 2023, the release of 2023.1, uh, these products will no longer be able to support Tableau data extracts. And it goes on to say, look, for Tableau Online customers, uh, you don't actually need to do anything. Starting in June this year, they'll start to, uh, you know, basically remove the ability to publish the TDE. And then after that, there's actually some activity going on to help convert TDEs to the hyper file. So essentially everything you need is in this post. But if we just go down, there's a little bit of history about the hyper file released in 2018, uh, version 10.5. And there's a little bit of a sort of a, a hint that in essence, this change is sort of necessary to enable some of the features coming in the future. I always like these kind of uh, changes because you know, if there's been no obvious reason for the change to come, but there is an obvious reason going into the future, then this is sort of a good thing uh, to see if that makes sense. Or maybe I'm just wish casting and speculating. But nonetheless, um, every sort of detail that you need is really here in the post. If you've got a question on this, there's no point in me reading this to you. Just just go to this uh, community post. It's in the description of this video. Uh, head to that page and really sort of get a good understanding. Now, for those of you who are Tableau server admins, of course, this is sort of slightly uh, concerning because it might mean if you've got some TDEs lurking around on your server, you might want to know how to find them. Well, again, this guide is really good. If I open up this image here, you actually get a little guide that shows you how to go and find all the Tableau data extracts on your server. So you go to the Tableau server uh, site or Tableau server or Tableau online, you go to the data sources and on the right hand side, you can actually filter to your data sources that are data Tableau data extracts. Now these specifically use the connection type Tableau data engine, which is also another acronym TDE again. So Tableau data extract, Tableau data engine, these acronyms get really confusing, but nonetheless, um, it's all here. Just go check it out. Now, the nice thing is if you're a server admin in the next version of Tableau server, 2020.1, they're actually gonna bring in some commands to the Tableau services manager that allows you to block Tableau data extracts being published. This is a good way of stopping these things coming because essentially whoever's still using that file type will kind of come to you and say, hey, I can't do this, what's going on? And that will be a great opportunity for you to catch those sort of uh, edge cases before they cause you a problem in a year's time. But you can also actually go through a series of steps here to convert things across. So there's a little bit of a, a guide on here how to convert things. And some of it is manual. Um, you could uh, sort of do a, a example script. In fact, if I go over here to this uh, little page here, there's this little uh, script that someone's uh, written that essentially converts a TDE to a hyperfile. So 
a lot of this is there and it's like it's, it's no coincidence that this is on the tablet github page and it was updated 13 days ago essentially someone's written the script and has put it here to help customers do this uh, sort of uh, transition as well so not much more to say than other than man it's you know it's it's sort of a sad day maybe we should do like a, a farewell party for the tablet data extract if you'd like to see that let me know in the comments that would be a really sort of nice touch but um yeah the tablet data extract is being deprecated in march 2023 as of 2021 wait 2022.1 even uh, there's going to be a capability in tableau server to essentially stop people using it if you're on tableau online this is probably going to be an even easier process less for you to do tableau are pretty much going to take care of you in two instances they'll restrict the ability to publish tdes and then they'll also start converting old files into other formats now, if you use Tableau Public, this might be interesting because Tableau Public probably has the biggest library of TDEs. Tableau Online typically won't, unless you've been a Tableau customer for a really long time and you've basically not touched a workbook in ages. I'm talking really long time, like 10.5. Version 10.5 is the version you have to go back and, uh, you know, Basically, if you've built anything before version 10.5, then that might be a TDE. But if it's not been touched at all, then you should probably refresh those workbooks anyway. But Tableau Public is going to be the thing here. And so if you use Tableau Public on a daily basis, or if you just use it to learn and you've got some really old stuff, I've got stuff in there that when I open it, I get the little warning saying, hey, this was created in version seven of Tableau. Do you want to update it? Those are the kind of workbooks that are going to be updated here. So uh, it's really interesting to see how that will go, if any of those workbooks will stop failing, if there's any sort of change to those workbooks because you've changed the data type. I don't think they will. Um, I think uh, the architecture behind this is pretty sound. Um, and yeah, it's going to be a pretty smooth process, I hope. So if you want to know more, go to this community uh post here in the description there's a little bit of a comment area you can sort of uh, ask any questions you want here and yeah just in general check out the tableau forums really nice place they often do put lots of these announcements here because it's pretty much the only place you can sort of put this kind of stuff that's not a marketing blog post and is also not like a high maintenance sort of place so it's a really good place to put stuff for people to go find stuff so that's more than enough for me i've rambled for way too long um yeah the td is being deprecated um if you haven't noticed the it, you know, we're going a little bit quiet on, on the channel at the moment. That's because, you know, I'm a little bit busy on my side. I've got lots of sort of videos planned. <laughs> I've got a lot of people asking me questions about specific videos that I said I'd do around Snowflake, AWS, all tricks. All of these things are coming up. Trust me, I hear you. I see every single comment. If I haven't replied to your comment, I just simply haven't had time to get back to you. Um, but I see every single comment. I see all these requests and they will just happen at some point when I have time. It's just one of those things where, you know, life sometimes takes over. And yeah, you just have to wait for that to sort of pass by. And then, um, yeah, I'll be back on the content machine making lots more content. We've got 2022.1 just around the corner. So inevitably that will force me into gear. So uh, look out for that. But other than that, Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.